would best go quickly if Harry Meghan ends up ruining his life. In the British media, the issues involving Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are becoming more prevalent. There's rumors of them going through a difficult period in their marriage and a severe economic downturn. There are even rumors of a potential split. He couldn't have avoided it sooner if Archie wasn't Harry's kid. Archie, the son of Prince Harry, was also subjected to a DNA probe. They constantly have their arms around one other or are seated close together. So I've been curious about that, even if there are reports that Marcus Anderson appears in their pictures. With skill and delicacy, they gaze sideways at the camera as though having a private discussion. His mother was allegedly involved in an affair with Prince Andrew when he was living in Canada. And there are speculations that his father is Prince Andrew. Somebody mentioned that there was a link between the dates Marcus was born and when they were dating. If that has ever been demonstrated, I don't know. I've always been curious about how Marcus Anderson and Meghan got together and grew close. The alleged Rung and Marcus Anderson seem to have a lot in common, in my opinion. I don't think he looks anything like Henry, although other people think he does. In the unlikely event that Archie is identified as Marcus Anderson's child, and the story regarding Prince Andrew and Marcus's mother proves to be accurate. Did Prince Andrew suddenly become a grandfather? The revelation of the truth could surprise us all. As you may recall, Meghan and Marcus had all of this planned out in anticipation of her divorce, which would be a significant payday. Prince Harry contested the results at the time, claiming the DNA test was a new fraud before proceeding with an aunt. Despite his altered perspective, he now wonders if it will be necessary to wait for his kid to grow up before deciding whether or not he will share his father's baldness. A DNA test is the quickest option. But is Meghan willing to take the chance of passing off someone else's child as his biological child and endanger the bank? What would suffice for her? It has no benefit and is risky. Not like she was playing a video game and wanted to offer someone she loved a baby instead. Harry doesn't treat people with the appropriate love. She may have been exposed to a dangerous situation. Perhaps surrogacy was a sufficient quick step that was required had it been necessary. I've been wondering if she donned the biggest moon bumps in the morning and changed into a smaller one in the evening. If so, all the famous people in Hollywood and Netflix should be ashamed of themselves for supporting her in a war she has never won or fought for. The rule should be to not award and deserve prizes. I'm not sure if I'm convinced that Archie was carried by a surrogate, but I can say that there are a lot of strange videos and photos of the bomb. For those who don't think Meghan carried Archie, do you think the palace knows or not? First, there's the very strange popping video, which shows Megan and the woman she's talking to reacting strangely to the pump. But it's not just that part that's strange. Here's a link to additional footage where you can see Megan knocked down three times while wearing heels and with her legs together. And she did it for more than a minute at a visit. How is it possible to lean forward so far when six months pregnant? Her tummy seems to have vanished. Mark, she's seated in the chair and leans straight forward to pat the dog. Considering how we now know Harry, Meghan certainly has to exercise caution when it comes to her expectations and the divorce. He trusts the words and wants to hear the truth. Nothing is ever his fault. Discretion is not his watchword. If she attempts to file for divorce, it's not hard to picture him publicly berating her or even just carelessly ruining her reputation in the process of telling the truth to an understanding interviewer.